hey guys hello everyone and welcome to the channel so welcome to another video of aptitude series for csi net exam today in this video we are going to take questions related to train and speed of train and moving train related questions a uh, lot many times we have seen such questions coming in csi net exam so it's very important to know and they are super simple to solve okay so i'll tell you which formula to use how to use them what are the things which you have to take care of what are the important points which you have to remember and then we will take some questions all right now in case if you want to solve more questions related to this particular topic so that we have already launched on our all about chemistry app and also on our website link is there in the description of this video you can directly go there purchase the course which is very minimal just 350 rupees you can purchase the course and you can just give the test mock test over there there are a lot of questions with detailed explanation of the questions all right now having said that let's continue and let's start our video okay all right so the moving train problems okay the moving train problems are particularly speed and time problem okay speed and time problem but just the thing is that over here you will be having train related questions like a train is moving in such so and so direction a train is passing so and so things how much time it will take how much distance it will take how much speed it is okay so basically the only thing which they are going to ask is speed time or the length of the train okay so what are the things being asked so the speed might be asked of the train time can be asked that how much time it takes and they can ask you the length of the train okay length of train these are the only three things which are asked generally from this type of question the formula which you are going to use over here is very simple you might have already like you already know this formula so this formula is speed is equals to distance upon time okay so this is the first formula which you need to remember the second one just comes from here only you take time this side you take speed this side so it becomes like time is equals to distance upon speed okay and the third thing is this length of train is generally considered as the distance or i'll just write on the formula so basically distance is equals to time into a speed you just multiply these two okay so time multiplied by speed now these three formula are the only things which we are going to use apart from them we will use certain uh, like conversion formula for example if the speed is in speed is in kilometer per hour okay so what do we do we can convert it into meter per second by multiply multiply with 5 upon 18 to convert to convert into meter per second okay so if your speed is in kilometer per hour you want it to convert it into meter per second you just have to multiply by 5 by 18 okay that's first thing the second thing is that if it is reverse that is if a speed is in meter per second and you want to convert it into kilometer per hour in that case multiply with 18 upon 5 to convert in kilometer per hour okay these are the major things which you need to know to solve such questions okay now there are certain important points which i have written down on the screen you can just look upon them one by one i'll tell you the first point says that the distance traveled by the train to cross a pole or a person is equal to the length of the train okay so in the first case the distance okay distance which the train is going to cover is going to be equal to the length of train in which case when it is passing a pole or it is passing a person all right the second says that the distance traveled by train when it crosses a platform is equals to the sum of length of train and length of platform so when the train crosses a platform when the train passes through a platform in that case your distance is equals to length of train okay length of train plus uh, length of plus length of platform okay so you just add the length of train and the length of platform and you get the distance in this case the third formula says or the third point says that when two trains are traveling in opposite direction uh, with speed v1 and v2 then their relative speed is the sum of individual speed that means when the trains are moving in opposite direction then the overall speed is going to be added you are just going to add v1 plus v2 in that case next says that uh, two trains are traveling in the same direction v1 and v2 
where v1 is greater than v2 then their relative speed will be v1 minus v2 so when both the trains are moving in same direction you have to subtract the speed when both the trains are moving in opposite direction you have to add the speed okay fifth point says that when two trains of length x and y meters are moving in opposite directions okay with v1 for the first train and v2 with the second like v2 is the speed of the second train then the time taken by the train to cross each other is this much so the time is given by total distance which will be the length of the train x plus y divided by total speed because they are moving in opposite direction so you add the speed in this case right so v1 plus v2 this is how you get the time to cross each other similarly when the two trains of length x and y meters are moving in the same direction with v1 and v2 speed then in that case the time which they are going to take is going to be like if you uh, the total distance will be x plus y and divided by v1 minus v2 the difference of their speeds okay and the last point says that when two trains x and y start moving towards each other at the same time from point a and point b so let's say both the trains point uh, train a starts from point a and train b start from point b uh, after crossing each other then train x reaches point b in a second uh, in a seconds okay and train y reaches point a in b seconds then the train x speed means the speed of the first train to divided by the speed of the second train will be equal to uh, b to the power 1 by 2 and a to the power 1 by 2 so the last point i'll just explain you a little bit so let's say if there are two trains this is let's say train t1 okay this is train t1 and this is train t2 both are moving in opposite directions okay and let's say the speed uh, is not known or nothing is known just the thing is that uh, the only thing is that they cross each other somewhere okay they cross each other somewhere and after crossing okay after crossing each other train t1 reaches to the point okay so this starts from let's say point a and this starts from point b so t1 train is going to reach to point b and t2 train is going to reach to point a now let's say after crossing each other after crossing okay not from starting after crossing this t1 reaches b in let's say a seconds and t2 reaches a in b seconds okay so b is the time taken by t2 train to reach to point a after crossing t1 train and similarly a second is the time taken by train t1 to reach point b after crossing the train okay after crossing t2 so the speed of train uh, speed of or let's say this speed of this is v1 and the speed of this is v2 so you can say that v1 upon v2 will be equal to b upon a under root b upon under root a that's the formula okay where b and a are the time uh, taken by both the trains to after crossing each other to reach the opposite points okay so this is a complex type of question i have not seen generally asked but yeah other six point you should understand and i'll take some questions related to them and i'll show you how to solve them all right so let's start with our first question where it says that a train passes platform in 40 seconds and a man is standing on the platform in 20 seconds if the length of train is 200 meter then what is the length of platform okay so that's what is being asked so let's try to solve this so what i have said that it's not given the speed of the train is not given okay but when the train crosses okay when train crosses a man or a pole okay in that case distance is equals to length of train okay distance is length of train so that means in this case distance is 200 meters and you know that the how much time it is taking to uh, like uh, it takes 40 seconds to uh, process through a platform in 40 seconds and a man on the platform means the if it crosses the man in 20 seconds so basically the time is 20 seconds so if i need to find out the speed now speed of train is simply distance upon time right so the distance is 200 time is 20 you just cancel out and you will get 10 meter per second that's the speed of train okay now the second thing is that when the train when train passes a, a platform okay in that case distance 
is equals to length of train length of train plus length of platform right i have already told you length of platform so in this case the distance is length of train is given to you as 200 meters and let's say length of platform is x i don't know about that i have to calculate it how much time it takes to cross the platform that is 40 seconds so 40 seconds is the time the speed you already know that is 10 meter per second so now i will use the formula that is speed is equals to distance upon time or i can simply use the distance formula you can use any one of them all of them will yield the same result but let's say i am using distance formula so distance is equals to speed into time so distance is given to you as 200 plus x speed is 10 and time is 40 so you are going to get 200 plus x is equals to 400 so when you subtract it so x becomes 200 meters so that means that the platform is 200 meter long which is option number a okay so this is how you have to do simple question but the only thing is that you need to understand the logic and how to solve it we have used the first two points to solve this question okay all right the next one is pretty simple question it says that a train 150 meter long passes a platform of length 300 meters in 30 seconds what is the speed of train very simple to do it right so very simple just you have to understand that the length of train is length of train is 150 meters okay and the platform platform is 300 meter long okay and the time taken to cross the platform is 30 seconds so you know that when the train when train passes a platform when train when train passes a platform a platform in this case your distance is sum of length of train plus uh, length of platform length of platform okay so that means distance length of train is 150 and the length of platform is 300 so overall distance is 450 meters the time taken is 30 seconds you can find out speed speed is equals to distance upon time put the value of 450 divided by 30 so it will come up 15 uh, so it will come up 15 meter per second so now the speed you have got is in meter per second because the distance was in meter time was in second you have to convert this into kilometers per hour okay so how do we convert that so uh, in order to convert uh, your yeah so speed is in meter per second so that means uh, to convert to convert meter per second to kilometer per hour what do we do we multiply this 15 meter per second we multiply it with 18 upon 5 to get it in kilometer per hour okay so this is 3 times and 18 3 times is 20, uh, 54 right so 54 kilometer per hour so here what we have done is we have calculated the speed in meter per second but because the options were in kilometers per hour so we have to use the conversion formula or conversion rule to convert it and i have already given you that you in when the speed is in meter per second you have to multiply with 18 upon 5 to convert it into kilometer per hour and that's what i have done here to get it in kilometer per hour so correct option is option number b okay and b is correct option all right let us take a last question for this particular video once again before explaining it let me tell you that we have a lot many questions around 800 plus questions on our course for aptitude part so in case if you are preparing for csi net exam and want to prepare aptitude part also then i would recommend you to get our course on all about chemistry app the link is there in the description of this video and the link is also there in the comment section in the pinned comment so you can simply go and enroll yourself into the course once you enroll into the course you will get all these previous years 
TSA net exam questions solved, the aptitude part of them. And along with that, you will also get topic wise questions solved from the aptitude part. All right. Okay, so let's take this question now. It says that two trains, each 100 meter long, are moving in opposite directions on a parallel track. If their speed are 45 km per hour and 30 km per hour, respectively, in what time will they clear each other completely? Okay, so now in such cases, you know that uh, if the length of the, you just have to find out the time, right? And I have told you that if two trains, two trains of length x and y with a speed with a speed v1 and v2 move in opposite direction opposite direction then time taken to cross time taken to cross each other okay the time is given by a simple formula that time is equals to x plus y divided by v1 plus v2 because both are moving in opposite direction so the speed are going to get added so here x and y according to the given question the value of x is uh, 100 meters and y is also 100 meters because both of them are of same length v1 the velocity of first is 45 kilometer per hour and v2 is 30 kilometer per hour so first thing is to convert these in meter per second why because the distance is in meter but the speed is in kilometer per hour so let's convert it quickly so v1 is 45 kilometer per hour all i have to do is divide it by like i have to just uh, multiply it by uh, uh, so i have to convert this kilometer per hour into meter per second so i have given you that you have to multiply with 5 by 18 here okay so you have to multiply with 5 upon 18 here to convert it into meter per second okay so that's the one thing which you can do so it will come up 45 into 5 divided by 18 okay this is meter per second and v2 will again be uh, this is 30 right so 30 kilometer per hour and multiplied by 5 upon 18 so this will be uh, 30 into 5 upon 18 meter per second okay now you have to put it over here in the formula so the time will be 100 plus 100 divided by this will be 45 into 5 upon 18 and plus uh, 30 into 5 upon 18 so i can solve it now so what I can do is in the numerator, I will be having 200 in the denominator. I can take 5 by 18 common. So I will have uh, 45 and plus 30. So I will have 200 multiplied by 18 divided by 5. And if you add these two, you will get 75, right? 45 plus 30, yeah, it's 75. So you can just divide it. It becomes around 40 times then 5 uh, yeah so you can divide it by 5 8 times and 5 uh, 15 times then you can divide it by 3 so 3 6 times and 3 5 times so you got around 48 divided by 5 which will be somewhere around 9.6 uh, 9.6 is closest to or you can say that it is approximately 10 seconds okay so that will be your correct answer for this all right so these were certain type of questions from train speed and time and i hope that you understood the concept and it is pretty simple okay you should just know the basic formula and where and when the distance is going to change and what is going to be the distance in that place and if you understand this much i think you will be able to do such questions very easily all right so having said that that's all from my side for this particular video i hope you liked it and do let me know in the comment section if you guys want a specific topic to be covered in the next part and that's all from my side for this video thank you so much for watching see you guys in the next one till then have a great day bye bye take care